So I got this lid from, well this box from Amazon should I say, and modified the lid to put some mesh on. It's quite deep and it's very smooth through there, so they won't be able to climb out. I also added some cocoa fibre, I know there's different things people can use, but it's what I had on hand so I put some cocoa fibre on the bottom for the red runners to lay their eggs on. I just added a few scoops and then leveled it out. Now the substrate's all in, the next thing to add is egg crates really, well egg trays should I say, egg boxes, I just got these off Amazon, I will link everything down below that I'm using. And then I just basically like cut them in half, just so they haven't got enough room to like actually climb up and get out, because I don't want red runners running around my house. So you then lay them in and you add just the tiniest gap just because obviously they are like the dark and they will hide in them now I also added the little bits as well because they're going to be handy when it comes to getting them out to feed my tarantulas I also add this tiny bit, pop it on and then once they're in there and it's time for feeding I would simply put a box underneath and shake like I just demonstrated terribly there. So these are the red runner guys, the black ones are the females and the ones with wings are the males. Now they do not fly. So here I have a box of 50 adults. Let's get this open. I will leave a link to this as well. I've got these off eBay, I do believe. So females there and males there. Yep, I've got tongues because I didn't want them climbing over my hands. And I'm just going to basically shake them in. And then my daughter said, Mom, why don't you just put thing in and I was like oh never thought of that and we're just gonna sprinkle that in just in case there's eggs in it or whatever you never know so that is the red runners right there I mean they're not amazing to look at but they're gonna be an, am an amazing food source for my spooders Right now for feeding I'm just going to pop in some lettuce, just daily some greens or any kind of fruit and vegetable really because it gives them all the moisture that they're going to need. Now you want to keep these really dry. I've also got some layers chick feed which I'm going to put in as a dry food as well. All the moisture they could possibly need is on that little tray right there. They don't need any more than that. I'm not going to bother put water in because they like it dry. So yeah, that is basically how we do it. Now hopefully in a couple of weeks we are going to have babies. I'm just having a look between the crates because it's a bit fascinating. Um, but yeah, possibly in about a couple of weeks I'd say we hopefully have babies. Now you do need a heat source under. They live at room temperature, but they will breed at, I do believe, 80 Fahrenheit. So whatever that is in, look at them go. So whatever that is in, in degree C, I have no idea. But I'm going to work it out. So yeah, that's how you set them up. It's really easy. And I'll update you guys when we have babies. Toodaloo for now. <laughs>